Right now, the sun is starting to shine. That's some good news, especially after such a soggy and dreary weekend. Well, sadly, the sogginess will continue as we go through the rest of our afternoon. I don't think there's going to be enough sunshine or breeze to help keep that sogginess down. So right now we are seeing that beautiful sunshine across areas like Mount Vernon. You can kind of see the scrapes on our camera from the early morning showers that we were seeing. Now we see those showers way off to our south and out of our viewing area. So that's some good news, but behind that, Thanks to that cold front dipping down towards the south and east, that northwest wind bringing in that cool air, those blue hues that you see now over us. So precipitation free, but we're not free from the cool temperatures that Mother Nature is gifting us right before Halloween. So most of us not really rising too much more than what we saw for our morning lows like Fredericktown coming in at 37, which is exactly what we saw here outside in Carterville. Right now, temperatures warming up into those lower 40s. Our neighbors further off to the east around Route 13, Harrisburg sitting at 39. So most of us into those mid 30s, upper 30s, and some lower 40s starting to work their way in. But as we take a look at our three things that you need to know on our threat tracker, we are going to be dealing with some very gusty winds, sometimes up towards 25 miles per hour. And in fact, we're seeing that right now cool air still filtering in as we go into our Halloween freeze warnings in effect for all of our counties and we are going to stay below average as we go through the work week. So I mentioned those winds right now. Most of us at least between 10 miles per hour or down to the south Portageville sitting at 15 Poplar Bluff sitting at 17 miles per hour. And so if you're a high profile vehicle, you're definitely going to be feeling this. But on top of those temperatures, if you go outside, well, we're not going to be rising all that much, even though that sunshine is out there. Those northwest winds will keep things feeling a few degrees cooler. So yeah, temperatures trying to rise into those lower and mid 40s going to feel a lot more like those upper 30s thanks to those winds again gusting at times over 20 miles per hour. So as we dip deck back down into the evening hours, temperatures are only going to drop a lot more. So taking a look at your future cast, I mentioned the rain gets out of the region. Those northwest winds still continuing to gust over 20 miles per hour, even into the overnight. A few clouds will come into the region as we go into the early morning hours into your Tuesday. But hey, look at that. There's a secondary cold front moving in. More breezy conditions will be expected, starting off pretty sunny as we go to your Tuesday morning. But how about Tuesday afternoon? What happens with that cold front? Well, as it sags across the region, there is some uncertainty. Here we are around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. A lot of changes have been coming our way over the last 24 hours. The breezy conditions still stay, but it looks like that cold front might dip down enough to the point where we could get a brief snow flurry trying to mix in there as we go to our late Tuesday afternoon. But again, the temperatures will have to play a part in that. But hey, speaking of our temperatures, we do have a freeze warning in effect for all of our counties in our viewing area. This will go in effect 9 o'clock tonight until 9 in the morning. Again, waking up for Halloween, but this warning goes all the way across over 2000 miles from portions of the Midwest all the way back down to areas like Arizona. It's just a lot of cool mornings to look forward to. So with that, we do have that potential for a hard freeze as we go into our Tuesday and Wednesday as temperatures look to go below and into those 20s. But if we get the cloud cover, well, that could actually bring temperatures up a little bit more. I don't think we'll see any frost because we are dealing with some winds. You need light winds to get that frost formulating, but we, all, we also are going to be dealing with some gusty winds on top of that. So as we look at our temperature map over the next few days, we are going to be significantly below average by over 20 degrees. So Halloween not going to be rising up much more than at least those lower 40s before we start to plan to go right back up into those lower 60s. There's a lot of changes going on, so download that Storm Track 3 app because we are dealing with trick or treating, right? So if you are going out, well, we are actually under a costume contest, guys. So these are some of the submissions that we've been sent in. We have the Adams Family, Toy Story, the 101 Dalmatians. So don't forget, you can always send that in and uh, see yourself here on TV like those wonderful groupings. So temperature is not going to be reaching much more than at least those 40s, but dress for it. Keep those costumes warm because it's going to be a breezy Tuesday there for you, even today. Well, I know it's going to be chilly on Halloween, but at least it looks like it's going to be dry because I know a lot of yeah. events this weekend had to be canceled or postponed or turned into a drive through. So at least it's better than this weekend. So all right. Sounds good. Thanks, Emily.